Okay, this is just going to be a quick look at the PC Specialist Cosmos 2 uh, 15.6 inch laptop um, to supplement my written review, uh, the link to which is in the video description. Um, so let's start by looking at the ports. Uh, on the left hand side here we've got the power, uh, the fan grill, a, a D-Sub VGA port for legacy purposes, an Ethernet port, I guess that's gigabit, um, an eSATA port, a HDMI out port, and a USB 3 port. And over on the right hand side we have uh, the audio and microphone jacks, uh, a USB 2 port, another USB 3 port, um, a Kensington lock over here, and then either the disk drive or in the case of um, this particular system I've gone for a uh, extra hard drive uh, bay, so there's actually a caddy in there. Um, it's still got the same front panel on it as the uh, disk drive would have, but it's not, as you can see, it's not functional, it's just a caddy instead with an SSD in it, in this case. Uh, the top of the laptop, as you can see, it has kind of a, I don't think this phone camera is anywhere near good enough to pick up on this, but it's got like a grain on it. It's kind of an aluminium style. It is plastic, um, but it's a nice effect. Uh, as I say, it's, it's textured. Um, you just about see that. Um, there's not too much flex on the lid. Uh, there's a little bit, but that's not really a bad thing because if the laptop does get knocked, you want a little bit of flexibility there. Uh, so that's fine. Let's open it up again. Um, the hinges are pretty sturdy. You can actually see when I lift it, the uh, laptop's light enough that the whole base will actually lift up with the laptop because the hinge is quite sturdy. Um, not too much wobble on that at all. Uh, and not too much flex. On the keyboard tray, uh, very little actually, it barely moves. You'd really have to push down to get it to flex. Um, same uh, with the base here, and not too much movement on the screen and uh, some side to side either. Um, so the build quality is actually uh, very good for this price point, I think. Uh, the laptop is with the two hard drives in it and the battery fairly sort of heavy i'll say it's probably about i think it says it's 2.2 kilograms i've added another drive so it's probably nearer to 2.3 something like that um you can still lift it up with one hand um and it feels sturdy though i wouldn't really want to uh for too long because it is still fairly heavy but not the heaviest laptop i've ever seen so it's not as light as some but it is a 15.6 inch laptop so it's still fairly big uh, quite slim uh, you can, though you can see it's actually quite a nice design trip because if you lift it up it would probably be easy to show you this on the other side because you can see the uh, grill actually extends further down but uh, that is actually hidden so it makes the laptop look thinner than it is though it is still quite thin it's not a thick laptop by any means Uh, on the top here we have the uh, the power button, um, the notification LEDs, and the, uh, the function button with the function keys uh, along the top. Uh, some stickers. Um, and you can see here the uh, this grill isn't actually a speaker grill, it's just painted on for effect. Um, which is okay I guess, I mean personally I'd rather that wasn't there at all. Um, I think it's probably the aesthetically the worst part of the laptop um, but it's okay it'd be nice if the speakers were actually there because um, you probably get better sound than you do with them being underneath the base as they are currently just there um, the touchpad's great actually uh, for a Windows laptop it's a very large touchpad with two dedicated click buttons they're not, they're not built in or one button or anything like that um, and they've got a nice Click to then good tactile feedback. Um, same with the keyboard. I don't really like chiclet keyboards. I prefer sort of keys with a lot of feedback. Um, but as chiclet keyboards go, there's a fairly shallow, but there is some feedback there. Um, some people will call it mushy, but I don't. I prefer the keys to be a bit softer than. Um, I use a comparison with the MacBook Pro keyboard, which gets um, gets a lot of praise. But personally, I find it when you I type quite hard and you find it kind of jolts your fingers a bit. Um, this doesn't, it's actually quite comfortable to type on, so I wouldn't call it mushy, I'd just say it's softer, 
but I quite like the keyboard. It's um, much better than I thought it would be, and it's definitely better than the keyboard on my old Vortex 3, um, which certainly moved around a lot more and wasn't anywhere near as solid. Um, that had that laptop had very good build quality, but I thought the keyboard was one of the weaknesses. Um, I wouldn't say that for this, I like it a lot. All right, I'll just turn it over, hopefully, without scuffing it. There we go. Um, as you can see, that's the uh, battery just pops in there, comes out very easily, and uh, this entire back panel comes off just by undoing one, two screws, and you have access. Uh, to the entire uh, laptop and you can also undo a screw which is just here um, which will let you just clip the drive out as well um, so it's very easy to maintenance um, there's just one fan uh, which you can also remove and clean um, to get the dust out and stuff like that all on one pipe for the CPU and the GPU um, I'm not going to open it. I opened it the other day to uh, fit the SSD, so I'm not going to open it again. But it's, as with all bare bones laptops, very easy to maintain. Um, and your warranty allows you to do this, which is nice. Uh, finally, I'm just going to show you the boot times on this laptop. And you'll see the screen, which is quite impressive. Uh, this is, of course, booting on an SSD, so. It should be very quick. You do have to press the power button down and sort of hold it for a second of notice with this laptop or it doesn't actually register anything. Just one little niggle. And as you can see, we're already at the login screen. Um, it's very quick. When I did it from a cold boot earlier, I timed it. I think it was about, I've put it in the review, to, uh, just under 12 seconds, I think it was, about 11 and a half seconds. Uh, so it's very fast to boot off on an SSD. And you can't really see on this camera, but the display is a matte display, uh, 1080p. It's very clear and very good color accuracy, nice contrast. It, uh, I've got the brightness right down, but um, the brightness can go very high as well. It's sort of a traditional gloss display, uh, sorry, matte display. Um, it's not semi matte like a lot of panels are now. It is completely gloss, but I haven't noticed uh, a lot of a large amount of grain or anything like that. It's a clear panel. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's just a quick overview of the laptop. I'll take a look at my written review for more details, uh, but I'm really pleased with it. Cheers.